This is the Madison Lower East Side Hotel. I stayed for two nights. Here's what I thought. The location of this hotel is here, near Chinatown and the two bridges, so the location is great. Plus, the subway is just a block away. When I got to the hotel at 2.30 p.m., I thought I would be able to get into my room, but I was wrong. Check-in starts at 3 p.m. But the good thing is that I was able to leave my bag. Can I leave my bag? Of course. So I walked to a nearby bakery for some regula. Sam says they're like the one she had in Israel. At 3 p.m., I went back and took some time to look at the amenities. Right by the entrance, they had coffee all day long with creamer and sugar, as well as some orange juice. They also had a few other drinks for sale, as well as some wine bottles at the front counter. The check-in was easy and smooth. Downstairs were these amenities, but the athletic center was dark and the door seemed to be locked, so you might have to ask for them to open it. They had a water station with cold and hot water, and in the mornings they have a small assortment of breakfast items like fruit, cereal, and waffles. The room itself was cute, and typical for New York City, small. The only real complaint I had is that there was nowhere to store anything, and there wasn't a fridge. Again, typical for New York City. The bed was firm, the bathroom was nice, The window doesn't open. The TV didn't have any streaming services, so if you have a Roku or something, bring that. The view was great, which always makes any room instantly better. The staff was nice, and they refreshed our room the next morning when we left. The only other complaint I had was that you can really hear when people wake up in the morning. Both nights, there were guests that left around 7 to 8 a.m., and it was definitely my alarm clock. There's a bagel spot that is about a 15-minute walk away called Baz, which I recommend if you're looking for a stroll around the neighborhood. The bakery I mentioned earlier is called McKaylee, or McCallie, which is just a 5-minute walk away. And the infamous Super Taste and Scar's Pizza are less than a 10-minute walk, which I highly recommend. Overall, the hotel was a nice option for two nights. A clean room, bed, good shower, nice staff coffee, free water, and some breakfast options to keep you sane until you hit the bagel spots are the essentials that this hotel definitely provided.